That looks so awesome, guys. When do you ever see vehicles like this in the game? Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, this person's going to go through that vehicle. There we go. Anyways, though, uh, yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. This video, guys, is going to be delivering some very cool vehicles over to a uh, dealership. Now, it's kind of like a dealership showroom style. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here shortly. We've checked it out before. But what we haven't checked out is all these mods in this video. So, first off, you're seeing this trailer. Now, the trailer, uh, this truck, and pretty much all the vehicles we're uh, using this video, actually, I believe every single one, is all from the same place. Now, this is a Facebook group that I've never heard of before, and I don't really know how. It's called uh, EXP19 uh, Laid Out. So, EXP19 Laid Out. So, EXP for Expendables Modding. And then the laid out part. So from what I gather, the group is focused on lowering uh, vehicles. So for example, this semi truck, you see that it is a lot lower to the ground than most vehicles are. And that's because a modder lowered it down. And yeah, so this video, we have a bunch of vehicles like that. Uh, some are vehicles we've seen before and they've just had some modifications. Uh, but then some of them are completely new. I honestly would say the majority to my knowledge at least at least they're new to me um like i don't know i've never seen them before right so let's see how that goes uh they're just right over here and we are on i believe this is called valley crest this map um i don't know we used to play on it all the time i'll link it down below and i'll also link expendables modding uh, 19 laid out and just something i want to mention they seem like they might be a little bit stricter on who they accept and don't accept now, I could be completely wrong about that. Um, I don't know. It, it took like a day for me to be accepted, which kind of surprised me. I don't know. But yeah, because I don't know. I know lots of like the admins and stuff there, but I'm happy they accepted me because now I can show you guys these really, really cool mods. Um, yeah, okay, so this trailer, we can lower it down right to the ground. There we go. Just like so. And now here is what you guys were waiting for. Let's check out these vehicles. Uh, oh, I messed that up. Okay, come on. There we go. And that one doesn't have anything behind it. Look at this, guys. Okay, look at this. We have whatever this vehicle is. I don't even know. The Caddy. Sure. Uh, yeah, it says Expendables 19 or Expendables on the back for Expendables modding. That is so, so cool. Uh, and you see it's very low down. But these vehicles can all raise up. So that's one side, that's the other side, and then you got your back, boom, and wait, can I, can I do both? There we go. That is what we need. So when we're transporting these, we will have to raise them all up because like, obviously if they're, if they're this low, they are not making it onto our trailer. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, we'll raise up all of these. Now this is the Chevy stock, it says. So there we go. Now, most of these raise up, uh, just like you saw me do there, like each wheel individually. This one's a little bit different, uh, but you can open the hood on this, which is pretty nice. But yeah, this one, you just raise up the front and back with the, uh, it's the left mouse control. You hold that and you just move your wheel either uh, left and right or up and down and it does different things. But yeah, most of them, it's like, so I hold, for example, the left mouse button and it will move those front two, and then the right mouse button will move the back two up. I just have to angle my mouse a bit. It's kind of confusing to say. If you guys do download these, you will realize what I'm talking about. So there we go. We got them all raised up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the first load, we're going to be taking number one, two, and three. The second load will be taking one and two. So I guess f uh, four, four and five. I don't know why I said one and two. Anyways, let's go ahead, load these up. Enough talking. Look at this, guys. Actually, you know what? Can we lower, like, just the back a bit? I think that'd be kind of cool. Or we need, like, a little bit higher than that. Um, like that. That looks so awesome, guys. Oh, you get the lights on, too? Look at this, guys. When do you ever see vehicles like this in the game? 
Like, how did I not know about this Facebook group? They've been around for a little bit now. Um, yeah, it was just, I don't know, I, it was recommended to me. And I absolutely love it. Anyways, let's go ahead and load this up. Uh, just like so. We don't have to worry about scraping because when these vehicles are raised, they have quite a bit of ground clearance. Like, more than we are used to. <laughs> Okay, and this will go right on the end. I believe this vehicle straps down. I think every vehicle we're using today does strap down besides um, besides a blue one. I believe every other vehicle does. All right, we'll take this Chevy now. The Chevrolet, I should say. When, when it looks this nice, you say Chevrolet. If it's like a pickup truck or whatever, you say Chevy. So, <laughs> here we go. I don't know, at least that's the way I do it. Let's load this one up. Just like so. Now we need lots of space. I think that should be good. Okay, and then we have the final vehicle here that we need to load up. This blue one. Now again, this one doesn't strap down. At least to my knowledge, it doesn't. So it's going to be a little bit different. Also, these interiors all look absolutely stunning. Like, really, really cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, and then please fit on here. When I brought them over here, I actually used the trailer, so, so everything should go smoothly this video. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Okay, and then we will strap those down. Just like so, yeah, so you see that strap down, that strap down, this one sadly isn't, but I don't know. You can't ask for everything, right? But yeah, let's go ahead. We don't want anyone stealing these vehicles or try to hot wire them or do anything like that so we'll close those doors and anyways uh yeah i'm gonna get our engine started when i'm doing that here's a quick little message from our sponsor join lambomod's patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations you will get early access to lambo winston and beard shots awesome ideas on top of all that you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools join today using the link below okay guys so let's go ahead and raise up this trailer here now, I need to get these controls right. There we go. Make sure all the wheels are on the ground. There's a few different ways you can adjust it, so... That should be pretty good for clearance, I believe. Now, actually, we have to watch out for one thing. Uh, yeah, okay, so if we look at where that exhaust is... Oh, wait, actually, no, we clear it. We're good, we're good. I was watching that exhaust, I thought it was going to be hitting the vehicle, and I was like, that's not good, but... No, we, we should be in the clear. Okay, so yeah, let's get moving. Now, we're going to be going uh, the direction of the airport. Now, if you are a long-time viewer, you know where the airport is on this map. I actually had to get a little refresher. I had to fly up and just double-check that I knew where it was. Uh, I actually went the wrong direction at first, too. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe you are a long-time viewer and just don't uh, remember the map that well. Like me, I don't know. But anyways, we go this way. It's right near the end, uh, but now I have a placeable dealership that I put down. It's in a little bit of a weird area, I'm not going to lie, but it's the best I could really do. The landscape on here is a little bit unique, I'd say. It's definitely not ideal by any means, so yeah. <laughs> okay, also, we're going to switch to the right lane, because I believe trucks drive in the right lane most of the time because the left lane is like the passing lane, right? And I can't imagine people wanting to be stuck behind a truck when trying to pass by a truck. Like that, that just wouldn't make sense. So I think this is right lane. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we have to go pretty far, guys. Uh, if we actually look at the map. We're over here, and we need to go all the ways to here. So we have a few tunnels to go through. I believe one or two. Uh, I think two. Pretty sure it's two. And then lots of bridges, you guys can tell already. I think we've already had two of them. Yeah, two of them there. There's another one coming up. And then we have a tunnel. It's it's a pretty cool landscape on here, I'm not going to lie. I really, really love this map. Uh, this is one that we had on a dedicated server for a while. And we've done so much on this map. It's a little bit crazy at this point. I would love to see some updates to it. I know the map's getting a little bit older. Uh, it was... Like, this map came out before Seasons came out. And... I, to my knowledge, it doesn't have any, like, mud on it, or it definitely doesn't. Uh, it has no mud. It doesn't have lots of stuff we're used to, but it's still a very cool map. Very, very cool. Okay, is this the way we go? 
Um, yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, we don't even have to go underneath that bridge. Thought we did. Perfect. And we'll go left over here. Let's slow down. Now, there's no stop sign, actually. It just says do not enter for the other direction, so... We're, we're doing good. And I like that we have, like, the gooseneck kind of attachment on here because... It allows us to turn a lot sharper than we could with your traditional uh, trailer. Like, you guys know it. If we had, a, like, a low loader, it would not be not be doing too good here. <laughs> not by any means. So we're approaching the dealership right now. I actually see it in the distance. Should be really, really cool. It's kind of more like a showroom dealership. Like, I don't know. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about momentarily. Most of you will probably recognize this building. And I know there's a newer one out, like a newer version. <laughs> That's a completely new design, but for this video, I wanted this design, so I downloaded one of the older ones. Uh, like, I think this is version 2.0, and now there's like version 3.0 or 4.0 out, uh, and that is a complete redesign, right? But here we go. This one still looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, so to get these in, we're going to go around back. Now, I tried my best to fence this in. Did it work? Not really. Every, like, I, okay, no, I, honestly, I did not try my best. I just, I, I attempted, right? <laughs> so, yeah, there's some weird areas. I'll expose, like, this is a gate. Why is there a gate here? I don't know. It Security, maybe, like, it allows a back exit. So, nothing wrong with that, right? I, I, I say that's okay, but, yeah, stuff did not really, the fences did not go the correct lengths that I wanted them to. Okay, right, there we go. Remove the straps. And let's start unloading these because we still have another load to actually get. Go like this. And I think for now we'll probably leave them all raised up in here. But we can go ahead and lower them in the future. Uh, is this how I turn this on? Yes. And then that's a light switch. Okay, perfect. We got it all go. Yeah, they, that's like a little dealership. Look at this. It's how you turn on those front lights. Do you see how those turn off? Right? And it looks like that on the outside when those are on, which is very, very cool. Love this building. This is made by um, Late Night Custom Creations, if I remember correctly. Try to remember linking them down below as well. There's so many people I need to link, guys. I'll, I'll try my best. You guys know, I... Like, if you see a mod in one of my videos, check the description first, see if the mod is there, right? Then check my website, gearplays.com, check the full mod list, see if it's on there. After that, if you cannot find the mod, um, like check the Patreon pages, check the Facebook groups I link. If you cannot find the mod, um, also check Mod Hub quickly, because most of the time when people ask for mods, um, I literally just send them the Mod Hub. Like I search it up on Mod Hub. I'm like, I don't know if it's a... 19, I don't know, 57 Chevy, let's say, right? I literally search up 1957 on Mod Hub, and I wait till I see the Chevy, and then I send them the link for it, right? It's that simple. Um, so yeah, I recommend you guys do that. If you still can't find it, let me know, and I'll try my best to help you guys out to uh, find where the mod is, but I will never create a download link for mod. Uh, that's something that lots of people get confused about that um, because I I put tracking links in the description, right? There, uh, when you see like bitly, a bit dot li or ly, uh, it's literally just a tracking link so I know how many people click it. It redirects you to a public link that everyone has access to. It is not me creating a custom download ever um, or doing anything like that. I will never, ever, ever do that. Modders deserve credit, right? And I've find that they don't get credit when people do that so I am not I don't support when people create custom links for someone else's mod I just or like custom downloads I should say uh, but yeah anyways I'm gonna go drive on back you guys probably don't want to see me driving so we'll drive on back and then we'll load up the last two vehicles and yeah I'll, I'll see you guys in a second so here we go okay guys so we are over here now let's lower down the trailer perfect and then we can open up these doors. So, which door? It's four and five, right? There we go. Perfect. And let's get these out of here. Look at this roof, guys. That is a very cool custom job they did. 
really do like that. Let's see this interior. Pretty nice. I like it. Yeah, honestly, I really like this interior. There we go. Okay. Now let's load this up here. Oh, geez. Okay. There we go. And we'll put this right at the end. Yeah, these two vehicles are quite long. <laughs> Not gonna lie. They're a little bit crazy. Uh, oh, also one more thing. This shed. I want to quickly you guys know. So, it is a mod that... I've talked about this before. I'm not sure where it's from exactly. It came with another mod. Uh, I believe it came with a map. And I believe it was one of the maps that have muds. So, that have mud. So, it was probably like... Uh, what's it called? Um, New, like... New, what's it called? Nebraska, that's what it is. The Nebraska map. Um, I believe it's there. If not, maybe the Emerald Coast map. And if it's not there, maybe uh, on the California Valley map. But I don't think it was from there. I'm pretty sure it wasn't from there. Anyways, let's go ahead. We will strap these down just like so. Look at that, guys. The undercarriages are strapped. I love it. And then we can get moving. Uh, also, I don't know why I didn't mention this at the beginning of this of the video, but the channel is officially, when you guys are seeing this video, it is officially nine years old. We started the channel January 12th, 2011. So for anyone wondering how old the channel is, I know I was honestly wondering. I was, I was too lazy to check for a while, um, but then I woke up and I had all these messages, people being like, your channel is turning nine years old today. And I was like, what? Is it actually like, I always thought for whatever reason that the channel was not created in January, but I guess it was. So that was pretty cool to wake up to. Uh, and that's another thing too, guys. This video is actually recorded the day you're seeing it, uh, which is something I usually don't do. If you guys are on the Discord server, you know why I'm doing this. I, I don't know, I had a little bit of, of an off day yesterday, I'd say. But either way, if you guys want to know more about that, it's on the Discord server. But yeah, so we're just recording the day of. It's right now. Actually, comment down below what time you think I'm recording this at. Because you guys know what time it goes out at. But what time do you think it currently is when I'm recording? Like exactly right now. What is your best estimate? Um, yeah, let me know. I will, I will try to uh, respond to whoever gets it right if I... If, if someone gets the time right and they comment it like within the next little bit, I should be able to respond. Maybe I'll pin the comment even. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, here we go. We're on the road. Let's just go down here. <laughs> and let's look at our rear view mirrors because we do have them, which is quite nice. Looking good. Our center one doesn't work, but there's not really a purpose for it to begin with. Like... What would we really get to see out of that? Or may maybe it does work and it's just showing the vehicle. Oh, that could be the case. It might just be showing our trailer or the vehicles. Okay, I take that back. Uh, also, let's actually switch lanes here because I believe we don't fit if we go in that uh, far lane. There we go. Now we'll take this off ramp. I believe it's the right one. Uh, oh, wait. Is it? I don't know. Um... Mom, is, is this right? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> there we go. For whatever reason, I thought it looked a bit, like, different. Yeah, maybe that mirror does work. It's very... Oh, no. You know what it is? I think it's showing the top of the vehicle because it's kind of curved down there. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Anyways. Oh, wow. I really like that roof. And this has expendables um, laid out as well. That's really, really cool. That's a good way to brand the vehicles. With like a really nice custom badge like that. That is the best way for modders to get credit, I think. It's like if they if they make something like that and throw it on the vehicles. Because it literally just makes the vehicle look even better. And it gives them credit at all times. Which, it's like a win-win. <laughs> Alrighty, there's a car up ahead. Come on. Uh, by the way, guys, at first I was going to place the dealership here, but and it, it did fit, but there's that uh, barrier there, and it was going to be very, very tight. So I was like, you know what? Let's just move out a little bit further, flatten some land, and yeah. I, I, you guys see what I ended up doing? 
Okay. Can we, like, maybe not go this slow? I can pass you, actually. Can I honk you? Wow, it's a different horn sound. If it's deep when it's on the outside, and on the inside, it's like a high-pitched tone for the horn. That's really weird. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I've never really seen that kind of difference before. Usually, it's just like, it's like louder and quieter, but it literally seems like it's a different tone. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's lower that. There we go. Unstrap. Open these doors. Boom. Perfect. And then we can unload both of these vehicles. I love the way this wheel is colored, like to match the body with the... It's like multicolored, right? Oh, and when you spin it, look at that. That looks really, really cool. <laughs> okay. And then we will put this one right over here. Just like so. Oh, this is going to be a nice looking dealership. Uh, and guys, I actually do have some more vehicles we can move over. They aren't like these kind of cars. They're actually trucks. So if you guys want to see some lowered pickup trucks be delivered, let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, I don't know, drop a like on the video. Subscribe. All, the, all those kind of things. If I see this video kind of boosts the channel a little, then I'll definitely get right on doing that video because, yeah, they don't, they don't know you guys want it. And there we go. Alrighty, look at that, guys. Absolutely stunning. And I just quickly want to see one thing, guys. We were talking about the rear view mirror. Uh, I just want to see if my guess was right. So if we detach, it's, yeah, it's still like that. So it's the roof, like the edge of the roof, this part right here, you see how it kind of goes down right there? That is what is blocking the mirror. So I don't know if the modder who created this is watching. If you could like lower the mirror, that'd be really, really cool. But even if you can't, it's all good. I love this truck to begin with. And this does raise up and down. Uh, it doesn't do it in the same way. Like it's just one control, but it's still cool nevertheless. And you can actually rotate these mirrors on here too. So that's pretty nice on both sides. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Join the Discord server. Links down below. Thank you for an amazing nine years. I'm really just so thankful for everything you guys have done for me. It means the world to me. Uh, actually, yesterday, guys, I was out, and then someone asked me about my channel, and they, were, and I, they said they play Farming Simulator. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Do you watch any like YouTubers and stuff, right? Like, they saw my video, whatever, right? But... Uh, they said, like, the squad, and I was like, I know the squad. And they were like, Spencer TV? I was like, I literally have been in so many Spencer TV's videos. Um, I've literally recorded both of them, right? And it was so cool to, like, be known that way and be recognized. And I don't know, it was literally, like, one of my friend's, like, boyfriends. Um, yeah, it was, it was really, really cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.